Hello, everybody, and how are you all doing today? It is Rusty Champagne here with you, and I hope you are having a wonderful day. We are here with a brand new game just released today. This one is called Hairdresser Simulator. So we're going to get a chance to try out our hairstyling skills, which I don't really have that many of. But we're going to see exactly what we could do. So it looks like we got some options here. We got a campaign option. We got a sandbox option. We have a character creator option. Um, I'm just going to jump right into the campaign here. And we're just going to go with profile number one. And we're going to see what we get here. So this is going to be a new game. Are we ready for a new hairdressing adventure? I think we are. So let's hop in, shall we? And let's see what we got with this. I have seen about one minute of this game, and that's about it. So we are discovering all of this at the same time. Um, so we get to create our own character. Uh, who looks the most like me? Uh, I don't know. I don't want to get too far into this, so we're just going to kind of do something kind of easy and not get too crazy with this. So uh, let's see, this guy has way too much hair. So we got to take a bunch of his hair off because I don't have nearly that much hair. Uh, so let's see, how do we get rid of, okay, so, or maybe we just make it like that color. There we go. Uh, can we spin you? Oh yeah, we can spin you. So how can we change the, uh, okay, we'll, we'll do that. Uh, let's see, precise cut length. Um, well, that doesn't seem like it does a whole lot. Oh, that's interesting. All right, so we'll leave that like that. Um, filming start. Uh, what does filming start do? So that kind of changes that a little bit. Okay. Um, hair color. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling it. Can we make it salt and pepper a little bit? Yeah, we'll make it salt and pepper. That's kind of like me. And kind of, oh, darker than that. But, oh, um, okay, we'll just leave it like that. And maybe put it like this. And then what, can we make that a secondary color? Uh, that, that's, we'll go with that. I feel like that's okay. Um, I wish I looked that good. Uh, the rest of these are going to be fine, but you can see there's so many different things here that you can kind of mess around with. You can make yourself look exactly the way that you always wanted to look. Um, but in this case, we're not going to get too far into this. We're just going to kind of, Leave it as it is, but I do have to give myself blue eyes, so that's that's a requirement. <laughs> so, I got to have the blue eyes now. Um, maybe not that blue. Maybe somewhere around there. There we go. Um, I think that's good for all of our things. Apparently, you can scan your face. I wouldn't want to scan my own face. Because I, I know what I look like, so we're not going to do that. Uh, let's see. Save character default name is... Uh, uh, let's see, do we just go here and type it in? Oh, maybe so that, oh yeah, there we go. So default name, first name, Rusty. Last name is Champagne. Of course it is. So there we go. There we are. Our brand new stylist named Rusty Champagne, who's going to start doing all of your styling needs. Hey there, I hope you're ready to learn. Uh, sure, but man, you are loud. Um, so we're going to have to turn you down at some point. Hairdressing can be quite the challenge, let me tell you. Yes, I guess it can be. See this young woman over there? That's Posey. One of my regulars. Okay. Quite the free spirit. Sometimes even an airhead. Well, that's rude now. She has some lovely curls that sadly she doesn't take good care of. Okay. Sometimes it's better to straighten them out and put on a layer of decent hair dye. <laughs> Probably shouldn't give her a lecture about hair care afterwards. No, you generally don't want to do that. But it won't stop me from trying. Oh, way to go, Jordy. Okay, welcome to Hairdresser Simulator. Do you dream of a career as a hairdresser or are you just excited about all things hairdressing? It's where your dreams will come true and you'll lose yourself to your creativity. Use your mouse to look around and the WASD to move around the salon. Before we do all that, we gotta turn the sound down. Because the sound is loud. Okay, so conversations, way down. I thought I'd turn this down before. So yeah, all of you, way down. You're all too loud. So please, quiet down. You're hurting my ears. So we're gonna turn this down even a little bit more. And that even a little bit more. And you even a little bit more. And we'll even turn some of the effects down a little bit more. There we go. 
Now I think we got it where we want it. So there we go. Setting saved. Let's get back into it. Resume. Okay, so we're going to go here. So yeah, we can move the mouse around in the WASD. Um, here is this lovely lady whose name I have regrettably already forgotten. So <laughs> we're going to go over here. Uh, apparently left shift does not make you, oh, it does make you move a little bit faster. So we're going to go over here. We're going to hit the washing station and we can press E to transfer the customer, which means I guess she will walk over here. There we go. She is on her way here. How are you doing? We are here to take care of all of your hairstyling needs. So, all right. So now we're going to press E to use. I so, don't know what was worse for my hair, the road trip there or living in a tent. Okay, um, why were you living in a tent? I tried to take care of it. In the end, I was too busy having fun. What were you doing? It was my first big music festival after all. Oh, okay, music festival, I got you. Now that Thanksgiving is around the corner... Um, it's March, I'm sorry, uh, that's a long way around the corner. I want to make sure my family isn't too worried about me. Should they be worried about you? Grandpa already doesn't think I have a real job. Well, do you have a real job? No need to make him think I'm a swamp witch. Um, I don't know how to reply to that. I'm way past trying to explain what being a freelancer means. Well, that means that you just kind of do things for people and you may not necessarily get pay- Oh, well. You gotta pick your battles. Yes, you do. Okay, so moving the camera, WASD, zooming the camera in and out. Okay, I think we can handle that. All right, so can we make you go away? Um, let's see. How do we make you go away here? Because uh, I know... Oh, well, we'll just go through all these. So, all right, then we're going to press and hold the left mouse button to work with the available tools and choose the one that we need to work. Okay. Then we're going to hold the right mouse button to turn on the water and start rinsing the shampoo. Okay. And then we're going to aim at the customer's hair and hold to apply shampoo. Okay, that's important to aim at the customer's hair. <laughs> and then select shower again to rinse and shampoo. Okay, all right. I think we might be able to handle this, possibly. Okay, so it gives us this little percentage meter, I guess, to show us how wet the hair is. So we're going to hold down the right mouse button and select a shower. And now it's going to be the left mouse button to get it wet there we go so all right so then we can move around here and it shows us just how wet her hair is perfect all right hey <laughs> we, we, we did did our first hair wash how about that we're one for one okay so now we're gonna go here we're gonna put some shampoo on okay and then we're going to just apply this to the hair look at that doesn't that look nice um, that's not normally what my shampoo looks like when I put it on my head, but uh, hey, I'm not judging. So we're going to get all the shampoo on here and go around this way. And there we go. Uh, oh, there's a bunch more that needs to be done. Okay, so there we go. Now we got to wash off the shampoo. Okay, so we're going to go back to the shower and the, also known as the sprinkler. And <laughs> we're going to rinse it out just like that using the a key to move it back around zooming this away there we go task completed look at us we washed somebody's hair i feel more accomplished already okay so click escape to exit there you go and now approach the chair and press e to take care of the customer okay miss customer would you like to come over this way and we will take care of whatever styling you would like uh, I don't know how you're walking like that, but you're somehow making it work. So there you go. All right. What would you like done with your hair today? Let us find out. So we are going to press E again. All right. So before we go with customers, select a hair dryer and hold the, I guess that's the left mouse button to dry the customer's hair. Okay. So we will do that. So we're going to dry the hair. So we're going to go, where's the hair dryer? There it is. And now we're gonna dry your hair. Close your eyes, please, because this will get kind of loud and hot. So we're going to, wait, let's do that again. Ah, <laughs> that's funny. She automatically closes her eyes and we didn't have to do anything. Um, she's looking up at the sky. I don't know what she's looking at, but she's looking at something. So we gotta get it all the way down to zero, apparently. So there you go. All right, so now we're going to use the hairbrush and the hair is combed in the direction of the mouse movements. 
Okay. We can do that. So we're going to grab the hairbrush, which is yeah. And now we're going to grab a strand of hair. And we're just going to start dyeing it. So we're going to... Um, let's see. So we go like that. Okay, I think so. All right, so we're going to go like this. And just kind of go down. Okay. All right, so I guess we got to do this with all the hair. That's what I'm guessing. So we're going to go like this and keep on going down. And I guess when we get all the green then we're in good shape. So, all right, so we just got to come down here then, I guess? Because I'm trying to get to the red parts. So where are the red parts? Uh, let's see. Uh, how do we, or maybe do we have to click this? And that does it? Uh, let's see. Oh, okay, so I see. If we, you gotta just be real careful with uh, looking on the indicator and that tells you where you gotta be. So you're just trying to find the hitbox. And once you find the hitbox, then you're in good shape. So we got to get right down there. Brush that out. We've got to probably go around to this side. Let's brush this out. Uh, where's the hitbox? There you are. And down you go. All right. So we can click on a specific part of the hair in the hologram to raise all the hair except that one. You can also split the hair into smaller sections by using the switch above the hologram. Okay. So we will give that a try. Then we're going to use the dye brush and then decide what color you want to dye the customer's hair. Well, aren't they going to tell me what color they want? Um, select a section and then move the mouse down to apply the dye. Remember, the hair coloring require, requires precision and creativity. Don't be afraid to experiment. Well, I'm going to kind of go with what she wants. So, or maybe she's not going to tell me. Okay, so, all right, the dyeing brush. And, uh, okay, well, we'll go with, uh, we'll make you a, a, a redhead. There you go. So now I guess we can go this here, and we're just going to go straight down, I guess. That's what it looks like. Okay, and so we're going to go this way, and we're going to go straight down. So this is kind of the same as the brushing of the hair, but now we're just dyeing it. Okay. So we're just going to kind of keep going around. You're going to be a lovely redhead. I hope you like this color when it's all said and done. So now I guess we got to find, um, let's see, how do we get to these lower sections again? So we got to, um, oh, no, nope, that's not what we want. So I guess we can do this. And, oh, okay. So let's see. So we can go down a bit. This is a very tricky thing. So we got to get right into that hitbox and it's, uh, oh, this is the one I think that we got to do. There we go. So now I think we can get into the lower section or I thought we could. Oh, wait, it's way down here. Yeah, it's a very tricky hitbox that you got to hit here. So you really got to be kind of paying attention to where it is because it, it's like it's off, the, it's off of the person's hair. But yeah, you just got to get the mouse in just the right spot and you'll be in good shape. So there we go. I think we might actually miss that one. Let's see. Oh, no, we got that one. All right, now back around this way. And what would you like over here? So we're just going to go all straight red. We're not going anything crazy. So there you go. Task has been completed. We're going to hit escape to exit. And now we're going to go back to the washing station. So back we go over here. Let's get your hair washed again. So I guess you can hold E and that'll move the customer immediately. Like they'll just teleport here. So let's see. Um, you're oh okay. So you're just automatically here. So removing the dye from the hair is an important part of dyeing. Yes, it is. Select the shower from your inventory and hold down to remove the dye. Okay, so let's do that. So we're gonna go here. We're gonna go back to the shower, or the the basically the shower head, and we're going to rid whoa that's red. Oh my goodness. I really hope you like this because it is a hot, hot red. <laughs> I, oh my, I hope we haven't done a bad, bad thing. Let's see. Uh, all right, so back to the chair. Just don't look in the mirror. Whatever you do, don't look in the mirror. It, it's okay. Don't Just don't look. Just look the other way. Oh, look, a chicken. A window chicken. Look over there. <laughs> okay, yeah, just don't look in the mirror. Whatever you do. Yeah. Um, that's an interesting display okay all right so now we're gonna take care of you again 
So now we have to dry the hair once again. Okay, so back to the hair dryer. Just don't look in the mirror, ma'am. Whatever you do, don't look. I'm just gonna dry this part here. So yeah, so that way you just keep on not looking in the mirror and it's all gonna be fine. So just please don't look in the mirror, whatever you do. So, <laughs> cause that is red. Okay, maybe it'll be fine. Maybe she likes red. Uh, well, that's what we're gonna go with, so. Perfect, and now we got to comb the hair again. So you, you, are, where are you looking? Are you looking in the mirror? Are, are you okay with it? Um, you haven't made any faces to indicate one way or the other, so maybe it's fine. Uh, maybe you like red. Maybe you think that's a good color on you. I, I don't know. So, all right, so we're gonna give you a nice little brush here, brush all this out. So now we got to go down to these lower hit boxes and brush this. And then get down to this one and brush that. And we're going to go over here and brush that one once we get in there. So, and then one more time right over here. And look at you. So hairstyling is another major hairdressing task. Well, oh, I just did the dyeing part. So to straighten the hair, open the tools wheel and select a straightener. Okay, so let's get the hair straight now. Okay, so here's a hair straightener. All right, I even know what a hair straightener is. <laughs> I don't use one, but I know what it is. Okay, so, and now I guess we can get, get the lower section here. So again, finding the hitbox and getting that. And now we're gonna just kind of go all the way around again and straighten the hair out. So how about down here? Oh, there's the hitbox, there we go. Find that pixel. And over here, we got this. And I guess this just kind of fluffs the hair. Really? I'm not sure if that does too much of anything, but it makes it nice and fluffy. So we got that going for it. I feel like this music is still loud, but I could be wrong. So <laughs> I guess we'll find out when we watch it back. So there we go. There's the spot I need. All right. So we're going to get it all straight. And one last spot here. There we go. All right. What are you thinking? Um, Tutorial course is completed. We can buy our own salon. How about that? Wait, this wasn't our salon? Where are we then? Um, okay, so I'm going to do one thing I real feel quick. Much oh, now. Uh, you're welcome. Um, Honestly, I hope you like the red. I couldn't have done it better myself. You probably could have. You're being too kind. Feels good when how you look reflects who you are on the inside. So the 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 very red hair is how you. And feel. I swear, I'm less of a mess than I seem to be. Yeah, you said it. I I I can't judge. Give my warmest regards to Jordy. Uh, okay, I will. He really knew what he was saying when he recommended I see you this time around. Uh, <laughs> he's too kind. Hope you've learned your lessons because school is out. Oh, is it now? Yes, you heard me right. I'm going to get out of your hair now. But I need you around. I've only taken care of one person's hair. Good luck with your salon. Remember to take good care of it. I, I'm waiting to see what it looks like because I'm kind of scared. Pick one that feels like a good fit. Okay. Or just one you can afford for now. That's what I was waiting for you to say. That Rent was it. in this city can get crazy expensive. Rent in every city can get crazy expensive. Remember to keep your workplace presentable. You have such high standards, dude. How else will customers know they can trust you with their appearance? Because I'm Rusty Champagne. Come on, haven't you heard about my window chip? Oh, that doesn't apply here. You gotta show them your best side. What if I don't have one? Okay, all right. Once again, I'm gonna go down here. And I'm gonna turn down the music even more because I feel like it's still loud. It's like, gosh, why are you guys so loud? All right, down a little more. So hopefully I haven't made it too quiet, but we're gonna try. So, because it just feels like it's all loud. Okay, there we go. Settings saved again. So, and it looks like it's better. So here we go, back in, resume. That's a very weird mirror. I, I should really get my mirrors looked at. Um, so we're going to approach the table, select tablet, and press to enter the store. So our tablet is right here. And so now we're going to pick a salon. So what salons do we have? So apparently we have a salon. This is it. So <laughs> this is our choice. So we can choose from A, A, or A. I think we will choose F. Okay. Uh, you really think a basement is a good place for a hair salon? 
Well, don't com complain if you find a monster inside. Well, there's nothing else on this map that I can choose. <laughs> so I think I have to take this one. So yeah, this is what I got. I'm going with it because it's my only option uh, for rent in a major, major way. So let's kind of take a look at our new salon and see just what it looks like. Yeah, this is a dump. <laughs> this is bad. This is very, very bad. Hold me. Um, I don't want to know what happened in here before. I just do not know. This looks like a really, really bad college apartment in the old apartment section of town. Uh, oh, boy. Uh, no, I'm not sure. But again, I don't have any other options. So I guess this is it. Hey, kid. I know I said I'd leave you alone. Then why are you back? But do you have a moment to talk about company branding? Um, can I make it a road sign? I'm very happy to see you try and make it on your own. Well, you that's kind of the point of the game. Still, people need to be able to tell you from the competition. Hence the road sign. That's why it's important to put some thought and effort into your own label. Hence the road. Oh, we already covered that. Take a minute to design something that fits your idea of your brand. Okay, there better be a road sign here. Or just look silly enough. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Let's see. Um, all right, so I don't want to spend too much time on this because this isn't sign simulator. So we're going to go, uh, where is there a nice orange? Because we really want some orange in here. Um, I wish that they had like the hexadecimal colors, but I'm not finding it. So we're going to swing it a little bit this way. That's all red. So, oh, that's just for the scissors. Okay, I see. All right, let's see. The name, can we change the name? Uh, we want a smaller sign. I don't need a monster sign. So we'll do that. Uh, that's the, oh, so these are the backgrounds. Whoa, that's garish. Uh, let, well, okay, we'll go with that. All right, so there we go. Um, that's the background. Okay, we'll just leave that like that. Again, I don't want to get too fancy with it. For those of you who like going and making all the fancy things, you can make the fancy things. Um, let's see. The uh, So apparently the only frame... So that's the backgrounds. That's the patterns. Here's the name. Well, of course, we're going to go with Rusty Champagne again. So I'm assuming we can put that there. Or Champagne Cuts. Um, champagne Cuts. There we go. That's what we like. And we're going to probably have to take the... Uh, and let's see. Uh, let's make this a, a nice... There we go. That's styling. I'm, I'm liking that. It's a nice black. Uh, oh, we can change the font. Let's see. What kind of font do we want? Um, I'm liking that one. We're going to go with that. And Oh, can I make that a blue? Oh, I'm going down a rabbit hole now, folks. Um, let's see. Do we have a blue? Uh, how do I get to a nice blue? Oh, there we go. Yeah. There we go. That's what we're looking for. So let's go back to the background again. Let's see if we can make this an even nicer orange. I'm looking for a nice orange here. Um, do I, maybe I need to make it like that. I'm spending way too much time on a sign. I'm sorry, folks. Uh, or is this the, oh, it's the frame or no, it's the, it's the pattern. Oh, we got to change the pattern color. Oh, that's what I want. Okay. Let's get a, is that, give it a deeper hue. Yeah, there we go. Um, but we don't want it quite as red. So, oh, that's, yeah, there we go. I-L-L, -L, right there. Save the logo. Would we like to use that logo? You betcha. There it is. All right, there we go. Champagne cuts. It's a big sign, but we're going to go to the salon. Boom. Welcome to Sign Simulator. So <laughs> We've now made a sign. All right, so now we need to keep it clean. I can't imagine why you're saying that because this place looks like it's spick and span. So we need to take out the garbage regularly. Um, so we're going to grab and hold. When you're purchasing a new salon or looking to decorate an old one, sell your existing furniture to get a decent influx of cash. To do this, simply approach the piece of furniture you no longer need. Take out your wallet and hold the mouse button. Okay. And someone neglected this in place entirely. You think so? So we got to repair some holes, approach the trowel and click. Okay. And the floor won't sweep itself. Okay. And we got to clean the windows. So, all right. So now we're getting into welcome to the cleaning simulator. So we're going to hold down the, oh, no, the left mouse button. And now we, okay, we hold it. 
Okay. And then where's the garbage can? Where did, oh, is it over here? Okay, that's over there. Okay, so we can just take all these and throw them in there. Got it. Okay. So this we got to get to 100%. So talk amongst yourselves as we fix up our place. Um, we got all this stuff. And uh, I guess some of this other stuff that's like um, furniture, we can probably sell it. So we're going to see what we can sell here. So we've got to collect all the trash. So we're about halfway done with the trash. Um, at least it puts it into different categories for us. So we got that. Um, that is probably dirt. Oh, yeah, we need the broom for that. So other trash. You are, oh, you're not trash because that's telling us to take out our wallet. Can we pick this up and move it? Yeah, oh, good. There we go. Um, are you not going to let us set it there? Oh, so we can only, like, put it there. Just to get it a little bit closer so we don't have to walk all the way back to the other corner to throw away the garbage. So that's what we're kind of shooting for here. Um, all right. We're trying to just pick up these cans and stuff. Uh, we got one more piece of trash. Is that you? That is you. All right. We have taken out the trash. So now we can go here, grab our wallet, and we're going to sell a bunch of furniture. So give us all the money for all this furniture. I don't know why anyone would want to buy it, but you know what? I'm not going to question it. If you're going to take it, I will let you have it. Um, whoa, you'll even have that. So how much money are we getting for this? We're getting decent money. So, <laughs> wow, crutches, somebody's old crutches. I wouldn't have thought that that would be worth something, but apparently it is. I'm okay. Uh, there's that. Uh, okay, we got... Uh, now, why would anyone want this couch? Really? Are you serious? Uh, okay, they do. And these old milk crates, which we can sell one at a time. And they're each worth $25. How about that? Okay, so now we got to repair the cracks in the wall. So we're going to get our trowel out. Here's our trowel. So we're going to go over here and we're going to fix these up. Um, okay, so we got a... Oh, okay. So we just... Uh, all right, how do we do this? Do we just kind of... Okay, I guess that one's done. It looks like it. So maybe we just got to kind of hold in a corner and then click it again. Okay, so we just got to click a couple times and it takes care of it. I got it. So I guess we can maybe even do it in the middle. Yeah, it doesn't even matter. So you just got to click it a time or two and it'll do it. Okay, there we go. No accuracy needed, which is just what we want in a rusty champagne salon. <laughs> Something that doesn't take accuracy. And now we're going to clean up this stuff in this corner. I don't want to know what's here um, because it looks kind of sketch. But we're <laughs> we're just going to leave it. So how much of the floor do we have to clean up? Is this... Uh, okay, we got to sweep that up. That's apparently sweepable, as is that. And what else do we need to sweep? Oh, this spot right here is what it looks like. All right, it's all swept, and now we got to clean all the windows. So let us clean the windows. So now that is going to be the cloth to clean the windows. So, uh, oh, so we just got to go like that? Okay, that's what it looks like. Um, there we go. We earned a new level. How about that? So now we can customize the salon. We can get some interior design, some basic furniture, and a new course is available. How about that? So, we can decorate the salon according to our taste. For short ideas, check the decor designs available via the tablet. We will probably do that because I don't know what I would want. So, go to the store and buy a set. Oh, so I guess we put this away now? All right. So, I'm trying to open the tab. Oh, let's go back. Um, so, how do we get rid of you? Because uh, I don't need you anymore. Um, so how do we make you go away there? Let's see. Tasks. Uh, how do we get you to go away? Uh, let's see. Uh, we've already done that. So escape to exit. All right. Escape to exit again. Um, or Yeah, because it keeps on AD to hold. Use that to zoom in and out. And escape to exit. So AD to change the window. All right, so we're kind of trying to do that. Um, that to clear it. Okay, so that's good. Now, how do we... Okay, so we hit escape to exit. And we... Oh, there we go. Let's put you away. Empty hand. That's what we want. Perfect. So now tab to open the store. So the store, decor designs. And let's see. Simple, standard... Or lavish. Well, I don't have $10,290, so I guess it's going to be simple. 
because that's about our only option. So we can preview this. Uh, other than the garish colors um, that look like they're straight out of the 1970s, uh, this will do. Uh, so we'll we'll go with this, and uh, we'll exit it, and we will buy that. Yes, we would like to buy that design. There you go. So, all right. So now we're going to return, and we're going to return again, and we're going to exit from here. So now we can change the color of the walls and floor tiles. And so to do that, we're going to press tab and go to salon customization. Okay. And just choose the pattern you like and immediately take out your brush or hammer. <laughs> so we can put up our patterns with a hammer. Okay. So we're going to turn on and off the set. Okay. So that just, oh, so that's all the pieces. Okay. So then we're going to go here, door, salon customization. And okay. So from the set, so I guess we'll do the stuff from the set because we've already got the stuff from the set. So we're going to buy that and we're just going to start painting. Oh, man, that's a ooh, man. Oh, man, I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize for the colors, but you know what? We're invested. We bought it. Oof. Oh, boy. Um, do we have to do the floors or? OK, so that's that. Um, what else do we have to paint? Um, because it feels like we painted everything. Okay, so let's go to that. We'll go to here, salon customization again. And from the floors, we're gonna go, oh, from the set, um, this. So the golden stoneware, we could just bang it down. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna bang a bunch of pieces in place. Um, there we go, man, oh man. If they could see me now with <laughs> this crazy floor, uh, this is something. Okay, so there's a couple more floor pieces. Boom. Purchase all the furniture from the set. So now I think we can go back here again and go to the store and furniture. And this is everything from the set. So I guess we can buy all of it. So we just kind of put it all in. And yeah, so we're going to put it in. And we're going to put in the mirror. It's weird because it's a very, very dark mirror. So we're just going to do all that so buy all these put all of them in an icon two-seater poof <laughs> i'm not even going to worry about changing the colors because again we could get all kinds of all kinds of fancy and garish with all of it but we're not going to worry about that right now so we're going to return exit out of here and we need to then unpack all of this so i guess we exit out of here and where oh my Look at that stack. Okay, so we're going to, whoop, that's not what we want. So how do we put away the hammer? So we want an empty hand. So we're gonna unwrap an item, we're gonna press it and hold E. Okay, perfect. And then if there's a problem with opening the parcel, you'll be informed with an appropriate message, which probably says you're attempting to open this the wrong way. All right, so we're gonna hold E to unpack. Um, it's in a blocked zone. Okay, so let's take it out of the blocked zone gonna turn on that so all right so we're gonna hold this and we're gonna unpack it that's our poof and that's going to go where does our poof go right over there um, and we can rotate it okay so that's there perfect it fell right into the spot all right let's move this kind of get it out oh we can move all the boxes there we go drop that unpack it what do we have here oh this is our uh, um, our station Okay, so we're gonna rotate that, drop it in. And then we have our, oh, wrong button again. You would expect no less from me. Okay, I got two things that are coming at me. So we're gonna do this one. Um, we're gonna put that down and we're going to unpack it. Um, too close to another parcel. Okay, so I wanna move you this way. There you go. All right, let's unpack you now. Or you're our mirror. All right, so we're going to pick you up. We're going to try and pick you up. So let's see. Uh, how do we pick you up? Why are you on the floor? All right, so we're going to press that to grab you. Oh, okay. That was interesting. <laughs> it wasn't moving off the floor. Now we got it. So we're going to move you over here. And we're going to unpack you. You're the chair. Perfect. So you're going to go right about here. We're going to give you a rotate this direction so you face the arrow that's on the floor. Just like that. And you are probably our hair washing station. That would be my guess because it's the last thing that we have. 
There we go. So now we're going to spin that around nice and easy. Drop that right into place. Bang. Each start of the day will give us some time to prepare. If you find the condition of the salon satisfactory, approach the door and click on the sign to start scheduling customers. You can also do this using a tablet. All right, where's my tablet? Okay, so then we can put people in here. Uh, very simple, just drag the desired customer to a free hour in your calendar, and then they'll arrive at their scheduled time to be ready to take them in. So you're not going to do too many people all at the same time. You can end the day earlier by clicking on the sign. You cannot change the salon decor during the workday. No buying new items, no moving furniture. Start the day responsibly and have fun while you're at it. Well, we want to have fun. I mean, that's the point. And if you want to remember how to use the hairdressing tools, which you already know, or learn how to use new ones, open the tablet outside working hours and select the hairdressing courses tab. I'm going to have time outside of working hours to do things? Okay. I probably should have looked up there at the screen to see what they're talking about. So, yeah. So, I need a course on brushing hair. So... Okay, there we go. So now we need to complete the required courses. So we're going to go to the hairdressing courses and we need to do this course. So this is haircutting with a hair trimmer. So required level one and we have purchased the salon. Let us start the course. Okay, so what do we need to do in order to cut hair with a hair trimmer? Let us find out. So once again, we're not in our own salon. We're in this magical salon that I wish we owned, but we don't. So we're going to come over here and we're going to transfer this customer immediately because we don't need to watch him walk over here. All right, the trimmer is the fastest in cutting here. Select the trimmer and hold the right mouse button to use it. Okay, so we're going to aim at the customer's head. Um, I'd, I'd be looking up too if I were you. Cut the customer bald. Oh, <laughs> I can do that. Okay, so where's the trimmer? There it is. All right, and we're going to go just like this. And okay, WASD to move it. Okay. And or do we have to come from here and go down? Oh, I got it. There we go. Oh, man, you're going to love this look. You are, man. You they, they told me to cut you bald. We're cutting you bald. So there you go. Um, you're going to have nothing left when we're done with you. <laughs> and I hope you're okay with that because that was the instruction I was given. So that's what we're going with, and I'm sticking to it. Uh, we're a third of the way there with you. Almost there. So, well, not almost. We're only a third of the way there. So, okay, let's go this way then. And oh, let's kind of come around this way. There we go. We'll leave that one patch. No, we'll get rid of that one patch. <laughs> That'd be mean. Okay, let's go over here. I do have to pay attention to where I am on the customer's head. So that does make a difference. Okay, a little bit more there. Let's get rid of that. We'll go way down here and get rid of that. This is a style and look. Maybe we just leave you like this. No one will ever notice. I mean, that that that's perfectly natural. I, I, I think... Um, Okay, maybe not. All right, 71%. You're almost there. This is like construction simulator, <laughs> except with hair. Okay, what else we got? You got a little strand up here. Let's go that way, and we'll come around this way. Nope, over here. There we go. Down. Yeah, I, I'd be grimacing a little bit myself because this is kind of a bad thing. All right. Oh, there we go. Task completed. All done. Uh, I think you had a better look before, but I'm just going with what they told me to do. So there you go. Course completed to return to the salon. Go to the exit door and click on it. But I want this salon. Why can't I have this salon? What's this guy going to do? Is he just going to sit here and lament the fact that he has no hair anymore? Is that basically what it is? I I'm sorry, dude. It was the course. That's what they told me to do. So, <laughs> all right. Out the door we go. Back to our own salon. Um, because we don't get to keep this one. So that's kind of a shame that we don't get to keep that one. All right, schedule customers and start working. So we're going to schedule at least one customer. So now I guess we can go here. We can flip this. So uh, let's see, scheduling customers. That's what we need to do first. So Allison Donald needs all of these things, and Clementine Mallon just needs a hair straightening. So we're going to do Allison Donald, and we're going to put her up here in the 10 o'clock slot. And then we're going to give ourselves a little bit of a break. And we will put uh, Clementine Mallon down here in the 
13 o'clock slot, the 1300 hour slot, because I don't know how long it's going to take all to do all that. So, and I'm kind of slow. So we're going to take care of both of them. Am I sure I finished scheduling customers? Those were the two customers on my list. So I'm going to say yes. There we go. Nine o'clock, 10 o'clock. Here we go. And we have our first customer on our way in. Please come in and sit on our lovely poof. Uh, there you are. Hi, how you doing? And you are here. So come on over. We will transfer you immediately. And now we will get you all washed up. So there you go. Gonna get over here. Got the shower head. Um, your customer's frustration increases with the number of mistakes you make. Um, okay, well, let's not make too many mistakes then. Let's make sure we get this right, um, whatever we do. So, all right, let's kind of go around this way. How you doing? Are you having a lovely day? How's the weather out there? How about that local sports scene? Um, all right, let's get some shampoo for you. Put some of this on. Um, so have you seen the latest movie starring the latest actor in the latest plot? Um, what did you think of it? Was it good? Uh, did you have any critiques of it? Would you recommend it to a friend? Would you recommend it to a hairstylist? Um, would you recommend it to someone who owns the local supermarket in town? Uh, okay, uh, we should probably get back to actually doing your hair. Okay, let's wash off the shampoo. Here we go. Let's go back to the shower head and let's get your hair washed off. There you go. Hope I didn't get water in your eyes. If I did, I'm sorry. <laughs> but we were we were shooting for it okay there we go dry the hair so out you go let us move you out of here you're gonna go over to here and sit in our uncomfortable chair we will eventually get more comfortable chairs but right now they're not that good oh those eyes are scary uh no, no offense i didn't mean anything bad by that so all right here we go let's get your hair dried nice and dry um, it's a shame that your hair is as dark as the, <laughs> as the, uh, as the, uh, cloth we have on you here. So we'll, we will make do, uh, but it's looking like it's getting pretty dry here. So, oh, it's, and it's nice that it kind of gives you the percentage up there in the, uh, in the top. So, all right, looks like we need some more over here. And on this side, we're really kind of still got some dryness that we need to achieve. Perfect. All right. So now we're going to comb your hair for you or brush it as the case may be. So let's get it all nice and brushed, get you all brushed out. There we go. We're learning how to find the magical spots to brush everything. We're getting a little bit better at this. We can be taught. And uh, about how about up here? There we go. So we're halfway through. It's nice to finally be looking at the percentages up there. All right, so we got that. How about down here? And now we've got that so oh no we got the same spot twice um we got the same spot again all right let's try this one more time there we go that's the spot we want that's the stuff all right now we're gonna go down here we're gonna get that spot <clears throat> and how about up here there we go nice and brushed looking good your eyes are rolling back in your head that scares me <laughs> okay uh earn money 50 gain publicity 70 how about that i'm not going to take your picture uh, i hope you're okay um finish working with the customer and uh is there anything else we need to do with you uh what else do we need to do um what else did we say we had to do i'm not sure i think you're ready to go i mean everything seems fine so we can escape there you go i think you are finished Thank you very much. I hope you have a wonderful day. And thank you for coming by Champagne Cuts, where it feels like it's mighty dark in here um, for 10.30 in the morning. So now we're just going to wait. I guess we can, can we advance time? There we go. T time's just going to advance magically. It is now 1,300 hours, and we're going to take care of our second customer, who I believe all they need is a hair straightening. Hello, ma'am. How are you doing today? Uh, let us get your hair straightened. You're going to come right over here. We're going to have you move to this seat immediately. Waste no time. And we are going to straighten the hair with our hair straightener. All right, so here we go. This should be nice and easy. I think I've got the hang of this one. Let's see what we can do. Down it goes over here. 
And we're a quarter of the way there. We're three-fourths of the way there. There's the part that we want. All right. Can we leave you like this um, and send you on your way? No, probably not. That would probably not be good. All right. So there's that. And can we pull that down faster? Oh, I guess we can. Um, I don't know if it really matters, but it looks like we can. And one more. That's the ticket. Boom. Look at that. Hair is so nice and straight. Are your eyes going to roll back in your head? No, they're not. There you go. We earned another 50, and we gained another little bit of publicity. So we're going to finish working with the customer. You are all set, and off you go with your nice straight hair. Thank you also for coming by Champagne Cuts. Let me get out of your way here because I'm all up in your business. So <laughs> there you go. You're done. And I think we have everything all taken care of. So let's see what it's going to say here for the end of the day. This was your last customer for the day. Would you like to finish today? Yeah, that seems like a good thing to do. The day is over. There we go. The remaining purchase salons will be displayed on the left side. We took care of two customers, got 140 experience, two thumbs up, made $100. We can apparently at some point have employees, but not yet. So there we go. All right. Well, I'd say that we had a pretty successful first day here at Champagne Cuts. Can we walk out of here or are we kind of stuck in our salon? Um, oh, let's see. Um, yeah, I think we're just kind of stuck here in our salon. So we will eventually have to maybe make some changes to it because these colors are a little bit scary. Uh, <laughs> but... That is going to be all for now. Uh, I hope you really enjoyed this one. This is kind of fun. I could, I could get into this. This will be interesting to see where this goes. Uh, but th again, thank you for watching. If you liked this video, I'd appreciate it if you gave it a like. If you really liked this video, I'd appreciate it even more if you considered giving the channel a subscribe. But that is all for now. Thank you, as always, for being a part of my silliness. I am Rusty Champagne, and we will see you later.